Let's go to uh, Jim in Denver, Colorado. Hey, Jim, what's going on? Uh, hello, Tom. Hello, Tommy. Morning, Jim. Hey, thanks for taking the call. Watch you guys all the time. We appreciate that. Man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much. I subscribe to Steve Rhodes. Sweet. And, um, you know, my wife, who's a lot luckier than I am, has some Apple stock. Um, and we were thinking about selling it, but it looks like it's broken the all-time highs and might, like, go to 300 or something. So, so I was wondering what you were thinking. Okay, stay right there. We'll, we'll, okay. We'll a short break. We'll come right back. Uh, okay. Bottom line is that... <laughs> Not a bad year to be an Apple no, shareholder. No, a great year to be an Apple shareholder. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading down to 28. NASDAQ is up 20. S&Ps are up 2.5. We're going to be coming back with our man Jim from Denver, Colorado. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 18. NASDAQ's up 23. S&Ps are up 3.5. We're talking with our man Jim from Denver. We're talking about Apple. You know, th this is... Uh, I mean... She has quite a score there. There's no two ways about it. So, you know, you always say, okay, are you going to sell a big winner like that? Well, it really depends on how long or what she's going to do with the money first, right? Right. And then, you know, is this going to keep going? Well, it should have a retracement, that's for sure, okay? But on, okay. A, lo on a longer basis, I mean, we're in... You know, these, these large companies basically have taken over just about everything. Um, you know, so, I mean, I was, I was looking, I'm not suggesting this, but what does get cool, depending on how many shares that you have, is that, you know, I, I was just looking at the January 270 calls, right? Okay. So let's picture that if you're, if you're going to sell at a 270 and... You're really just selling it because you think it's too high and you might buy it back again. You could sell a 270 call for $755 per 100 shares. And then you cover the 262. Not that that's a lot because Apple can go down 40 bucks in a heartbeat. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you understand how that works, Jim? Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah. I got a rough idea and I have to review it again, but right. Yeah, okay. no, I, just for everybody, yeah. I was asking, you know, basically you sell the call, right? So you receive the $7.65 per share just for everybody else out there. Right. And... So you automatically then are basically in the same way protected because if you sold it at 270, now you could sell it at 262.50 and end up with the same amount of money, which right. is the $7 in exchange. But what happens is, is that if that starts trading above that level, you'll get it called away from you. Right. right? So when you own the shares, it's different. What right. Mean, yes. I'm not saying it's different. And this is it's, it's a good strategy, folks, if you understand options and you're going to sell the stock and, and this is the kicker, that you don't think the stock's going to take a monster hit. Well, you know that's the I mean? big kicker, right? And that's, that's the because big if, kicker, yeah. To put know? it out, right, if Apple goes down to 250 you've now lost $20 in the price of the share, that's and right. you've only collected $7 in the option, so you've that's, actually lost $12 right. per share, right. um, and you have till January 17th. I know. How long has she owned it? Uh, well, seven years, I think. She's that's awesome. Several, several years, I'm sorry. Hey, that's several awesome, no matter what. You know, it, that's uh, quite a how should I say? It's uh, she's she's gained a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. The, um, even the last two or three years. I mean, you, you might not see something like uh, that run that Apple's had in many equities in a long time, especially because it was such a mature stock at that point right. to have that type of a growth. Right. You don't have to sell all of it. Yeah. That's the other side of it. Do you know what I mean? And it really, yeah. I would say that two different things end up happening. Is that if you're gonna sell it, I would make sure you know what you're going to do with the money first. Okay. Um, because I, I like the idea. I mean, if, the, if you get a score and I know I'm swapping money from one bucket to another, that's, that, I like how that works, okay? You don't necessarily just want to be sitting there in cash and saying, okay, I sold it just because it's high. You know what I'm saying? And, right. You know, because I think, I don't know, Apple, Google, Amazon, I mean, they, I think they're yeah. going to be around for a long time. Yeah. I think, you know, we're not at the beginning of this, but we're certainly not close to, uh, you know, the middle. I mean, do, do you know what I'm saying? So, but so you think it, it could go up a lot higher, but it would take a while probably. It will. It will, because if the, we look at Apple, so watch what happens. I bring this back in a monthly. What you're going to see is that Apple had consolidated for a long period of time, and then, well, it's not that long. I mean, it consolidated with this, well, yeah, you could say... 2014. November 2014. Yeah, well, three years. It consolidated. Two and a half. Yeah. yeah. 
February of 17. And, and then it took off. Um, that pullback, just to put it in, nobody thought it was going to go from 233 to 140 just right. a year ago, though. So right. that's kind of the dicey part about that, right. of course. Yeah. That I'm sure you know, Jim, because that, that was quite exactly. a pullback. Yeah. But if it's a long-term deal, because there could be some volatility, Apple really prone to the tariff it deal. Is. We have we have tariffs coming down the line Sunday. So, you that's know, if, if yeah. you're if you're going to be a long-term holder in it still, if it's something that you plan on getting out of it, anytime soon sell some of it you might have an, yeah. an opportunity because even if the the talks get extended right does that mean they're not going to get pulled back does that mean the president's not going to get out there and threaten to reinstitute those tariffs right. in which you might see some volatility in apple so they're kind of prone to that deal and no matter what happens before sunday i think we all know that's going to persist as uh time goes yeah. on yeah, yeah. You, I mean, she has a good problem. There's no doubt oh, about man. that. <laughs> I look at it. That buy at so, 140, man, was just you know, quite that, a year for Apple. It is. So the, the real question is, is that, you know, more, more, I, I would say that if, if I was in that position, I'd sell some of it. Because when you look at that chart, it's like, okay, man, you know, we, on a six-month chart, let's just say that, yeah, I mean, even just 192 five months ago to 269, yeah. that's, you know, for a large 35%. company. 35%. That, that, you know, you, you, you on you on a company that's already that. running the world I mean. practically. Yeah. I, wouldn't get, I wouldn't totally get out of it, but the bottom line is that she could sell some of the shares and still do very well when you're going to pay a 15% tax. you gotta, you got to figure the tax implications in it, too. Do you oh. know what I mean? That's the other side of it. You now, know, what I'll add into it, you her, might see. Her, her gains are going to offset my losses. <laughs> no, no, that's even better. If that's the case, now, listen, folks, what did you, no, I'm, I'm totally serious about that, because what ends up happening, everyone should be doing this right now, folks, okay? You should try to figure out, I mean, if you have a, if you have a loss that you've been carrying forward even three or four or five years on your taxes, right, go look at them, because if that loss is there, you, can, you, you should be taking that gain to put it off, because that is exponential money, because that's money found, because you're already sitting, like you might be sitting with a 10, 20, 30, 50, thousand dollar loss going forward because you only can write off three thousand a year okay right. so if that's the case that's a whole different ball game man i mean i, I love when that happens yeah you know, because then you are paying nothing and and you shouldn't be because their loss is offsetting the gains that's right so and, that, right, and yeah. that loss okay bottom line was that most times and your tax forms was it could be five years ago seven years ago and whatever yeah. You want to get rid of it because that's found money, man. Now, the only thing I'll add to it, Jim, I'm an iPhone owner myself. Uh, I have an 8 Plus right now, so I haven't gotten the 10. I haven't gotten the 11. I'm waiting for the 5G phone. I'm trying to. We'll see if it lasts out. So th I think Apple's going to get a boost, man, when they come out with the yeah. 5Gs because I think there's a lot of people, and they've done well with this, you know, issue of their phone, which was kind of a hold off. They were worried about it. They've done well. And when they push out a 5G, I think there's a lot of people, that'll be the first real reason in a long time, besides just an upgraded camera, yeah. besides an upgraded speed, there's an actual definitive difference between the last phone and the new phone, which will be a 5G. So I imagine that they'll get a, a boost, and it'll be leading up to that. It won't be the day of. You know what I mean? It'll be leading up to that release that people are saying they're going to have another big round of iPhone sales, which they don't even tout in their earnings anymore because right. they do so much cloud revenue. Right. So, so now your head's really spinning. <laughs> you got all avenues of it, man. Yeah, so can't go wrong with Apple. That's the bottom line, man. But you can't go wrong taking some of that money. <laughs> and you can't go wrong. If you get a tax loss carried yeah. forward, man, just yeah. do it. I'd, I'd match it up, man. Because that's found money. That's found money, man. And every year, sometimes I forgot to do it last year. And I'm saying to myself, why did I just, I could have done hey, this in two seconds. Tax planning. Get on it. it no, it's get a big on deal. It. I know, man. For sure. I know. Okay, Cooking, thanks. brother. Well, thanks for the help. Have thanks. Good we'll call, man. Jim. Have a safe one. Hey, see you. Bye. Dow. Dow's down 41. Nasdaq's up 19. S&P's up one and a half. Tommy and I come right back.